then we've seen Stuart Dallas be stretched off. Very heartbreaking scenes. Very sad uh, to see a player in pain. Once again, we're talking about Tino Livramento last week. I mean, it's in the knee area. Could it be a similar sort of injury? Um, could it be? I mean, I, I don't want to speculate. Um, you know, assessments will be carried out, but it didn't look great. Um, my first thoughts when seeing that injury, when I seen that coming together and seen that slow motion video footage, it was a very similar or almost exact mechanism to how I done my ACL. And um, there had been ongoing a, a rumbling between myself and another player, as Dallas and Grealish had been, you know, throughout the, the, the duration of that first half, a coming together, body on body, knee on knee contact. Um, yeah, and uh, it didn't look great. You could see that Calvin Phillips was standing over uh, Stuart Dallas the whole time he was being attended to, and they knew it was serious. I think my first thoughts, you know, initially, the, the best you could possibly hope for at this stage would be uh, MCL, medial collateral ligament damage. You know, that's certainly on the on the lower end of the the return to play scale. But given the force and given the amount of pain that the player looked in. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some kind of ACL involvement in there as well. You know, those assessments will be going on in the change room as we speak, um, you know, and they will have a fairly good understanding uh, and idea of, of the severity of that problem. Um, you know, and I wouldn't, you know, they will already be making arrangements to get that knee scanned just to confirm exactly what's going on in there. So that was his right knee. And I think one of the layman's terms that people talk about is the, the terrible trio, the terrible triad. Could it be that as well? You know, you, you talked about ACL, you talked about MCL. Uh, some people might talk about the meniscus involvement too. Uh, I mean, this this could be a, a, a long-term injury. Whatever happens, even on the MCL, it, it's probably, what's the time frame on that one, the kind of minimum? Yeah, I mean, look, well, we can ascertain from this point it is season over. Um, you know, that will come as no great surprise given where we are in the grand scheme of things. You know, we're, we're hitting May now. Um, you know, if it was just isolated MCL, um, you know, it's quite possible that, you know, it, that does have a very good blood supply. Um, it does respond well to conservative treatment. And, you know, in theory, we could see Stuart Dallas back for pre-season possibly in, in the beginning of, you know, a beginning of 2022 to 23, you know, you touched upon, uh, well, it was referred to as oh, Donahue's triad uh, when I done that. So it was MCL, ACL and meniscus, you know, that kept me out for around about six years, but advances in techniques and obviously the, the level of professional and elite care that players get these days, you know, I was nowhere near that. Uh, you know, NHS is great for a lot of things, uh, but in terms of rehabbing uh, serious knee ligament injuries, probably not, you know, high up there on their agenda. So, you know, um, we can keep our fingers crossed. We can hope, um, you know, that that isn't the case. But, you know, if that is, you know, we've been talking about Tino Livramento over the last sort of few days in terms of potential return to play, you know, you're more or less ruling out the remainder of this calendar year, um, you know, and then uh, we're looking at early 2023, uh, maybe the second half of next season, possibly. But like I say, just stressing at this point, it is pure speculation based on what we're seeing from that video footage. We could just hope that, you know, it's certainly on that minor end and, and maybe we might see Stuart Dallas back, you know, for pre-season and ready for the start of the new campaign. Yeah, I totally share those sentiments there, Ben. We hope to see Stuart Dallas back as soon as, as physically possible. It was It's a real horror one to see in the flesh, you know, uh, watching it live on TV. I was, I was quite worried just seeing it. I think the commentators were, the crowd were, and, and everybody kind of rushed to, to be uh, as positive around him as possible. And Calvin Phillips just wouldn't, you know, let go of his hand. He, he could tell that it was, it was a really, really bad one. Um, and so just with any sort of... Of injury news though do hit that subscribe button so you are most up to date with anything we don't have rumor we don't have misinformation and as ben has said we're just working off what we can tell from the video footage uh, and there's no confirmation of any of that sort of stuff here but we wish you the best of health the best of luck and we will see you again very soon <laughs>